Hello YouTube audience. I know it's been a while since I've posted a video that actually viewed me in person. But um this is actually um a video that's actually the first of its kind on my channel. Um if you didn't know, I do practice um magic and I follow a religion that is a um it is considered pagan, but it's not one that people know about because I created it myself. Uh, deities that I've created, spirits I've created, um, magical uses and spells that I've created. And um, this video is going to be about, I'm going to show you uh, an altar to only one of my goddesses. Um, but it will definitely give you an idea of what kind of stuff I do. And uh, I'm going to show you how I set up the altar, and uh, I'm going to uh, show you one of my magical rituals that I do sometimes. Um, they take place the, during the nighttime hours when I'm not as busy, and uh, it's actually more peaceful for me. Um, so, first we are going to set up the altar. Alright, now, um, in my house I do not have a lot of options to make an altar. So what I use is this tote right here. Um, it's just, you know, a tote for clothes and other storage, but it works perfectly for an altar. Now, unlike certain videos I've seen with altars, I do not um, cleanse this area with like oils or uh, special kind of um, cleansing materials. I just use it as it is. Um, so let's start setting that up. All right. Obviously candles are a number one importance in this altar and in many altars actually. Uh, these are two red unscented candles uh, but they work just as well. I've used them in other magical rituals so they have already a, a type of energy giving off that which makes it perfect for this altar. I have one scented candle, um, Paradise Flower it's called. It smells really nice and it's kind of an offering to the goddess. Uh, so I put that there along with the lid because its lid smells like heaven. So that's part of the altar. Now, another thing we use are gemstones. So I have a geode that I got in Frankenmuth. I put a lot of energy into it and as we all know, for people who are um, gemstone buffs like I am, they give off energy of their own. So we put that there. and. This is something my sister gave me for Christmas. It is called a harmonizer. It is a glass lotus with different gemstones in them. It's for good positive energy. It's also known as a positive energy generator. So that will help protect me from any evil spirits or negative energy that may come to this ritual. And um, here's a seashell I found. And actually, I didn't find it on the beach. I found it when I was walking in the suburbs. So, I just feel that that plays an important role with my goddess. So, and I have a quartz rock, which also is a big amplifier of energy. It's known as one of the most programmable uh, gemstones there is out there. So, if you put the energy you want into this gemstone, it's going to extrude it out two times stronger. But for this altar, I want it to uh, project um, protective energy, and in my uh, the religion that I follow, when um, there are gemstones on an altar and the deities come to the altar, they take as much energy as they want from like the the harmonizer, the geode, or the quartz rock. They even get energy from the candles and uh, everything like that. Now I use two purple candles. They not only represent nighttime, but they represent good harmonizing energy and they help get rid of negative energy. <clears throat> uh, I got a cool little um, incense burner for Christmas and uh, yeah, it looks like a skull and it's really cool. I got some pretty good smelling incense. It's called Black Ice and it smells really nice. It's also an offering to the gods and for neutralizing the energy around the altar and to help keep me safe while I do the uh, ritual. 
So, and another thing I use, I haven't showed this on my YouTube channel yet, but this is a wand that I made. It's got amethyst, and it's got, I'm not even sure what kind of stone this stone is, but it has, uh, I filled it with a lot of energy, and it helps give off a lot. Now, in witchcraft, wands, like with Wicca and witchcraft, they are an extension of the energy. They are basically amplifiers of energy. Um, my dad made this uh, stick. He made it into like a cool Harry Potter one, and I customized it with different uh, gemstones like amethyst, whatever this is, and um, down in South Carolina, we went to this gemstone mining place, and I got some rubies. Yep, they are um, straight from the earth. They are not been polished, which I hear sometimes is actually better. It's, it gives a stronger signal, but this uh, is infused with my goddess's energy, and um, then I have a turkey feather. Uh, I have used it to fan, you know, the incense around, but it has also been used in other um, rituals. It represents power and freedom for my goddess. So that's also a good thing to use. Now, the last thing I put on my altar is pictures of my family and friends for protection, have that goddess protect them. And I put one of the purple candles underneath that so that it really gets good energy going for them. And that is my altar. Now, before we get into the ritual, I will tell you a little bit about the goddess I am making the altar for and praying to in this ritual. Now, the goddess that I am doing this altar for, uh, her name is Vyra. And she is the goddess of invincibility, immortality, energy healing, and immunity. Now, I am not a great drawer, but I have drawn like a picture of all of my gods and goddesses in paint. So this is a picture of her. It's not a really good picture, but it's as best as I could do. I at least need a visualization of what they look like. Um, yeah, she has four arms. Uh, her eyes are glowing white. She wears a crown with some of the most beautiful jewels that have ever uh, people have ever seen. Uh, she has long black hair held together by two golden bracelets that fit around her hair. And um, she's wearing just a plain uh, blue grayish type dress that is not something you'd really see on royalty, but like something you'd see more on a, like a, a peasant or a servant. Um, this is because even though Vyra is the mother goddess of my religion, she is not, like, she doesn't want to be seen as the stereotypical uh, version of royalty where they're snobbish and, you know, they only care about money and no one else. She wants people to see her as a kind, generous person. She is known as a teacher, a healer, um, and she also gave birth to a lot of the gods and goddesses for the rest of my religion. <clears throat> and um, she is like, she's one of the nicest goddesses. I've actually met her, I've had experiences, but we'll save that story for another video. But she is seen <clears throat> as a person to go to for guidance and um, for healing. So, that is a little bit about the goddess I am praying to. Now let's get started with the ritual. Okay, we are going to begin the ritual by lighting the candles, all of them. Now that all the candles are lit, we're going to shut off all the lights. 
um, because lights cause a great distraction and when you're doing this uh, ritual like this you want to be totally focused on what, like what you're praying to and what you're asking so we will shut off all the lights all right just trying to make sure people can see who are watching this video all right First, we begin by calling forth the deity that we are trying to um, call and pray to. Uh, ask them to come to the altar, and usually they do. I now call upon Vyra, goddess of immortality, invincibility, immunity, and energy healing. Please come to this altar tonight. Usually when she comes, you can feel her energy. And, you know, I I feel an energy around me that feels like hers. When I feel her energy, I also get an image of what she looks like in my mind. And that is a evidence that she's actually over here at the altar. I offer these gemstones to you, this scented candle and the energy given off by these other candles. I also ask you to charge my wand and I also offer you this incense. hope you like all of your offerings, Vyra. Do you like all of them? Now, the reason I'm asking and waiting for a response is because, you know, I won't hear her voice, usually. But when the candle flickers, that means it's a yes. If it stands straight up, that means it's a no. So the, I use the candle as sort of a communication device for the deity I'm trying to call upon. Um, during these rituals, I pray to her and I ask her for certain things, you know, in exchange for all the offerings I've given her. The candles, the incense, the stones. I also ask that you protect my family members underneath this candle and my friends and everyone else in my life. Now, if there is anything you want to tell me, Byron, about the future or anything, please tell me now. Do you have something to tell me? The candle, it may be flickering a little bit, but it's standing straight up. So that's a no. Now, there's two candles here, but I look at the top one. It has more energy, and I've used that. I've focused on that. Goddess Vyra, make me one with your energy. Help heal any wounds that I might have. And help guide me through turbulent times in my life. If there is anything you want to say to the camera that my ears cannot pick up, Please do so now. You 
And now I take the wand that is now charged by Vyra and I wave it over the altar. And I pull it through the incense, cleansing all the stones on it and neutralizing it of any negative energies that may have attached to it when I used it. I use this wand to neutralize any negative energies that are here in the altar. Only positive energies can stay. Byra, I thank you for all the blessings you've bestowed upon me over these few, uh, past few months. And I will continue to pray to you. And I hope you like this altar. See how the candle was jumping erratically? That means she really likes it. I now conclude this ritual and end it by blowing out all the candles. Oh, this one's already went out. Now, I let the candle smoke go throughout the altar. It's like a one final uh, offering to her as she leaves the altar. I can feel her energy leave when she's like all done. Sometimes she'll stick around until all the candles are blown out. And this is the final one. Before you leave, Ira, is there anything you're sure you want to tell me? Anything at all? Nope. Guess not. Well then, I conclude this ritual. And... Ira, thank you. Now... I turn on all the lights. Well, not all of them, but just the ones that I need to get back up the stairs. Now, until I wait, usually until the candles cool, you know, all the wax and stuff, but I will leave the uh, incense burning until I am, like, done cleaning up. I leave that alone until I'm done, you know, cleaning up everything else. It's to neutralize the energy within the basement. Because there have been some freaky things that have gone around here in this basement. You know, strange sounds I've heard. and So I just want to make sure that no evil energies came to the altar with Vyra. I hope you liked the video. Um, yeah, like I said, this was uh, kind of a first of its kind to end up on this channel. Uh, I'm going to be making more videos about this type of thing um, and I'm going to try to upload more videos with me in them because I know how much you all want to see me um, and uh, it's just a very interesting topic that I have watched so many videos on and I've seen how much views they have and I just wanted to see how many views could mine get because at first I wasn't going to do a video like this because you know this is a controversial topic here about magic and everything but then I'm like, you know what, if I have the freedom to do this, then I am going to just do it. Yeah, I mean, I don't know how it's going to turn out unless I give it a shot. Um, so, yeah, this isn't a normal, like, type of uh, altar. Uh, it's uh, Everyone's altar is different, no matter what religion they're in. Uh, this is the type of altar that I do. Uh, I hope it gives you some ideas for an altar that you might want to make um, and uh, give you ideas for different things uh, 
no matter what religion you're in, you can always gain ideas from watching videos about making altars, which was uh, one of the goals that I tried to do today. And um, as I usually finish out the video, have a good day.